crypto traders beware did you know that the irs is coming after your bitcoin gains harder than ever in 2024 whether you're hodling or day trading you could be sitting on a tax time bomb and not even know it and this video will break down everything you need to know about how the irs is taxing your crypto gains the latest reporting requirements and why even your smallest trade could trigger a hefty tax bill from Bitcoin to NFTs, no digital asset is safe from Uncle Sam's reach. Stick around because failing to understand these new tax rules could cost you big time. As cryptocurrency continues to become mainstream, so does the importance of understanding how the Internal Revenue Service, or the IRS, treats these digital assets. In the United States, cryptocurrency is considered property for tax purposes, which means that any transactions involving digital currencies are subject to taxation. With the increasing focus on regulation and the IRS tightening its guidelines on cryptocurrency reporting, 2024 is said to be a pivotal year for crypto investors. The IRS treats cryptocurrency much like other forms of property, such as stocks or real estate, meaning that capital gains and losses apply. When you sell, trade or otherwise dispose of cryptocurrency, you must report the transaction on your tax return. If you hold your crypto for over a year before selling, it is taxed at the long term capital gains rate which can range from 0 to 20 percent depending on your income bracket however if you sell your crypto within a year it is subject to short-term capital gains taxes now short-term capital gains taxes range from 10 to 37 percent to calculate your gain or loss the irs requires you to know your cost basis so the original purchase price of the crypto and subtract it from the selling price for example, if you bought Bitcoin for $10,000 and later sold it for $50,000, you would have had a 5,000 capital gain, which you would need to report and pay taxes on. Conversely, if you sold it for $8,000, you would have incurred a $2,000 capital loss, which you could deduct from your taxable income up to a certain limit. One of the key developments in recent years has been the clarification of tax reporting requirements for cryptocurrency. The IRS now explicitly asks on the front page of tax forms whether the taxpayer has engaged in any crypto transactions during the year. And this requirement includes not only sales, but also trades between cryptocurrencies, the use of crypto to purchase goods or services, and even receiving crypto as income or payment. It is important to note that crypto to crypto trades are taxable events. For example, if you trade Ethereum for Bitcoin, even if you never convert it either back to USD, the IRS treats this as a taxable transaction. You would owe taxes on the difference between the value of the Ethereum at the time you acquired it and its value when you traded it for Bitcoin. This is one of the more complex aspects of crypto taxation, as many traders often engage in frequent trades, leading to potentially hundreds or thousands of taxable events each year. Cryptocurrency exchanges are also required to report transactions to the IRS. Starting in 2023 and continuing into 2024, exchanges like Coinbase, Binance and others are expected to issue Form 1099 for its users, similar to the way brokerage firms report stock trades. And this form provides the IRS with information about your transactions, making it much harder for crypto investors to evade reporting their crypto activities. Now for the regular folks like you and me, there's no escape this either. You could create a hundred wallets if you want to and have money be sent to you. But that account has been funded by an exchange account sometime in the history of its existence. To be able to use that money in the real world, the funds need to be transferred to an exchange. And these exchanges uphold more and more KYC rules because they do not want to be shut down. Which means that due to the nature of the blockchain, where everything is traceable, your funds will eventually pop up. Right, before we continue with the rest of this video, I want to remind you that I'm not a registered financial advisor. My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. Always do your own research and only invest money you're willing to lose because even though you can gain a lot in crypto, you will most likely lose it all. Now, it's also important to know that I'm not a tax advisor, nor am I a registered accountant. I just thought that this video would interest a lot of people since most of my viewers come from the US. That said, while we're taking a break now anyways, let's also take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Decent. They are a hardware manufacturer that offers two types of hardware wallets. The first one is a biometric hardware wallet where you can use your fingerprint to log in, sign and to verify your transactions. 
And then the second one is the all-in-one card wallet, which is ideal for on the go because all you need is your phone and the NFC technology to be able to manage your cryptocurrencies and to do the necessary transactions, which means that you will never need to charge your hardware wallet and that makes it super convenient. Now in the description, you will find discount links, so be sure to check them out. And if you want to learn more about these products, I've made dedicated videos about them as well. In addition to buying and selling, cryptocurrency can be earned as income through activities like mining, staking and receiving airdrops. According to the IRS, any crypto earned through these methods must be reported as income at its fair market value at the time it was received. For example, if you mine Bitcoin and it has a fair market value of $30,000 at the time you receive it, you would need to report $30,000 in taxable income. Now for those who engage in staking or earn rewards through staking pools, the IRS treats these rewards similarly to mining. The value of the staked crypto must be reported as income when it's received and subsequent sales of the staked assets are subject to capital gain taxes. Airdrops, which involve receiving free tokens during promotional events or project launches are also taxable. The IRS considers airdrop tokens to be taxable as income at the time of receipt. This has led to complications for some investors as the value of airdrop tokens can be volatile, leading to unexpected tax liabilities when the tokens are received but lose value before they can be sold. The same goes for tokens received through mining and staking. You can gamble on the price going up, but if the price drops, then you have less value and even run into the risk of having less crypto value than you need to pay in taxes. For instance, when I look at my own country, which is the Netherlands, they take January 1st as the date to decide how much your crypto is worth. As we all know, crypto is very volatile. So if your portfolio was valued at $100,000 on January 1st, but a month or two later it is now valued $40,000, you basically pay tax over an additional $60,000. That's not even daring. Which means that you have to pay much more tax than your portfolio represents. On the other hand, if your portfolio has doubled after January 1st, and then you will have a higher value than what is being taxed. But all of this shows that eventually it might be wise to convert your crypto to stable coins so it's not just paper money and profits that you own. Now one potential change in 2024 is the application of the wash sale rule to cryptocurrency transactions. In traditional financial markets, the wash sale rule prevents investors from claiming a tax deduction for a security sold at a loss if the same or a substantially identical security is repurchased within 30 days. This rule currently does not apply to cryptocurrency because it is classified as property rather than a security. However, there has been ongoing debate about whether the IRS will extend the wash sale rule to crypto assets in the near future. If the wash sale rule were to apply to cryptocurrency, it would have a significant impact on tax strategies. Currently, some traders engage in tax loss harvesting, selling crypto at a loss to offset gains and then repurchasing the same asset immediately. If the rule is enacted, this strategy would no longer be viable, adding complexity to tax planning for frequent traders. The IRS has been increasing its focus on cryptocurrency enforcement and 2024 will likely see further developments in this area. The agency has been sending out letters to individuals suspected of underreporting their crypto holdings or failing to report them at all. These letters are a clear indication that the IRS is closely monitoring the crypto space and penalties for non-compliance can be severe, including fines and even criminal prosecution in cases of tax evasion. One notable case of cryptocurrency tax evasion involves a man who faced serious penalties for failing to report his cryptocurrency gains. In 2021, the IRS pursued the case of the founders of a fraudulent ICO, who were charged with tax evasion and defrauding investors. The founders had raised millions of dollars through their ICO, but instead of properly reporting their earnings, they used the funds for personal expenses and failed to disclose their crypto profits to the IRS. The tax loss from this case amounted to over 1.6 million and the individuals involved faced up to five years in prison. This case illustrates the risks 
of not reporting crypto income or gains as the IRS has become increasingly diligent in tracking cryptocurrency transactions. They've ramped up enforcement efforts, issuing penalties, fines and even jail time for those found guilty of evading crypto taxes. The lessons here for crypto investors are clear. Ignoring tax obligations can lead to severe consequences. The IRS has sophisticated tools to track crypto transactions and as enforcement increases, more individuals are likely to face penalties if they fail to comply with the rules. It's crucial for crypto investors to maintain detailed records of all transactions, including dates, values and the purpose of each transaction. Many tools and software solutions now exist to help traders track their crypto activity and generate the necessary tax reports. The IRS expects full compliance and given the ease with which exchanges can report transactions, it's becoming increasingly difficult to hide or overlook crypto activity. It's crucial to stay on top of your crypto tax obligations, report all transactions accurately and avoid the heavy consequences others have faced for evading taxes. Now that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time. Doei!